हेलो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट पजल्स लेसन वन लीनियर एंड सर्कुलर अरेंजमेंट बेसिक्स नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल डिस्कस द बेसिक्स ऑफ लीनियर अरेंजमेंट नाउ ए फेस इज टुवर्ड्स दिस डायरेक्शन इफ ए फेस इज टुवर्ड्स दिस डायरेक्शन सो लेफ्ट लेफ्ट एरो यू कैन से दैट दिस विल बी लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ ए सीट नंबर फोर थ्री टू वन द राइट साइड ऑफ ए वुड बी सीट नंबर सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एंड टेन नाउ आई विल tell you the position of b with respect to a once you are able to identify these position of b with respect to a uh, these positions will be used in the questions and you will be able to solve the question in a faster time now first b b is sitting to left of a you need to tell the position of b with respect to a b is sitting to left of a now left of a you can see that there are seat number 4 3 2 1 which left the question is talking about now Four is also to the left of a. Three is also to the left of a. Two as well as one. So when the question says that b is sitting to the left of a, you can't determine where exactly the b is sitting. So the answer would be cannot be determined. C B D. Or you can say that b could be any one seat among one to four. Now same way b is sitting to the right of a. Now right of a could be seat number six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. Which seat we don't know. Again, the answer would be cannot be determined, or you can say that B could sit at any seat from six to ten. All the seat will be the right of A. So, if the question says that B is sitting to the right of A, your answer would be cannot be determined in linear arrangement as given above. Adjacent to A, adjacent means seat number four or six. Still, we don't know the exact seat, but we can say that. Uh, either the b is sitting on seat number 4 or b is sitting on seat number 6 next next is same as adjacent when the question says that b is sitting next to a it means that b is sitting either on seat number 4 or seat number 6 immediate left of a b is sitting immediate left of a now immediate left of a would be seat number 4 immediate right of a would be seat number 6 two places away from a this is very important now two places away very important that this next seat seat number 6 is one place away this seat number 6 is one place away from a so two place away from a would be seat number 7 on this side or seat number i'm just making seat number this is one place away this is two place away so seat number 3 or 7 very important two places away from a means seat number 3 or 7 The next seat is one place away. Remember that next seat is one place away. So two place away means seat number seven or three because it could be on either side. Now question number eight. Four places away to the left of A. Four places away to the left of A. This is first place. This is this is first place. This uh, making cross. This is second place. This is third and this is fourth. So if B is sitting. four places away to the left of a so b would be sitting at seat number 1 here i can confirm tell you the b is sitting at seat number 1 now question number 9 b is sitting third to a third to a means 6 uh, seat is first second and third 8 seat number 8 or you can say that seat number 8 or third this is seat number 4 is first second and third or two So eight seat number eight or two. If B is sitting third to A, very simple to calculate. This seat number six is first. This seat number six is first. This is second to A, and this would be third to A. Same way on the left side. B is sitting third to A. Last, B is sitting fourth to the right of A. Now first to the right of A is seat number six, seven, eight, and nine. Fourth to the right of A would be seat number nine. Now this is the basic that will be. I used in the question and once you understand you have understood this you will be able to solve linear arrangement question uh, uh, in a faster manner next i am going to discuss a circular arrangement now here i have uh, made a circular table 10 persons are sitting on this circular table and all the person are facing towards the center in circular arrangement there can be two type of question one in which the persons are facing same direction either towards the center or away from center this is center of the table in this case i have taken for simplicity all the persons are facing the center again a is sitting at seat number 6 now you need to tell the position of b 
with respect to A. For comparison, I have also written the linear arrangement. Now B is sitting to the left of A. Now in linear arrangement, B is sitting to the left of A. The answer was cannot be determined. But what about in circular arrangement? Now left of A, either it could be seat number 7 or 8 is also to the left of A. Seat number 9 is also to the left of A. Seat number 10 is also to the left of A. 1 is also to the left of A. Because if you see that, 1 is also to the left of A. If you do like this, this one is also to the left of A. What's the problem? This one is also to the left of A. Now two is also to the left of A. But you can see that two is also to the right of A also. So this is confusion. You can see that uh, seat number two, two can come like this to the left of A. Seat number two could be the left of A or it is also to the right of A. Now, in order to avoid this confusion, very, very important. Whenever in circular arrangement, the question says that B is sitting to the left of A. It means that immediate left. So I'm just writing in circular arrangement. In circular arrangement, CR, circular arrangement, circular arrangement, CA. I'm just writing in circular arrangement. Left means immediate left, left means Whenever the person is sitting on the left, it means that immediate left, IL, immediate left. So it means that when the question says that in circular arrangement, A is at seat number 6, B is sitting to the left of A. Now left of A, to avoid the confusion, in circular arrangement, left of A means immediate left automatically. So it means that B is sitting at seat number 7. In linear arrangement, the answer was cannot be determined. That is the only difference in linear and circular arrangement. Same way, B is sitting to the right of A. Now, right of A could be seat number 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10. Everything comes right and this also comes left. So, in order to avoid the confusion, whenever the question says that B is sitting to the right of A, right means immediate right, as left means immediate left, right means immediate right. In circular arrangement, I'm just writing here. In circular arrangement, CA, circular arrangements, Right means, right means immediate right. Right always means immediate right. Only in circular arrangement. Now, it means that right seat would be 5. Everything else is same. The only difference in linear and circular arrangement is this only. In linear arrangement, answer was to the left of A cannot be determined. Also to the right of A cannot be determined. Whereas, in circular arrangement, left means immediate left and right means immediate right. Everything else is same as linear arrangement. Now, Question number three, B is sitting adjacent to A. Adjacent means next seat. It means seat number seven or seat number five. Same as linear arrangement. Next to A, again same as linear arrangement. Next means uh, either seat number seven or seat number five. Immediate left of A, left, immediate left again seat number seven. Immediate right of A, seat number five. Two places away from A. This is one place away from A. This seat number seven is one place away. This seat number eight is two place away. Same way. This seat number 5 is also one place away from A. This seat four, seat number 4 is two place away. So answer is seat number 8 or 4 as similar to the linear arrangement. No difference. Only difference was in first two cases in linear and circular arrangement. So two place away from A, we seat number 8 or 4. Four places away to the left of A. 1, 2, 3, 4. Seat number 10. Four places away to the left of A. Third to A. Third to A. This means seat number 5 is first. This is number, this is first to A. I'm talking on the right side. First of first to A, this is second to A, and this seat number three is third to A. So seat number three, or you can also go left side. This is seat number first. This is seat number first to A. This is second. Seat number eight side and nine is seat number third. So third to A, seat number third or three or nine. Four to the left of A, seat number ten. So linear and circular arrangement have almost everything same except the basic concept that in linear arrangement we can determine the left or right whereas in circular arrangement left means immediate left and right means immediate right. Once you have understood this, these concepts you will be able to solve linear and circular arrangement questions. Thank you.